Hey Mike, just wanted to make a quick inspection video for you. So the first thing I noticed, these two doors have been repainted. Um, it, even through the dirt, it's very obvious that they've been repainted. Um, you see how like blurry the gloss is as compared to that quarter panel back there. And it's also a slightly different color. It, it, this is not uncommon. It's not a huge deal. There's not a lot of clear coat on there. Uh, what I would like to do is actually add clear coat to them. And I can do that without spraying and it's not a huge deal. Um, so, but I think the layer of clear coat needs to be built up. That M3 that you saw back there, 80% um, of that vehicle is re-clear coated as well, just because it had some bad body work. I don't want to put a really good coating on crappy paint it, or even a, a lower grade coating on crappy paint. But anyway, we can skip that. So these, the interior, it's definitely dirty. Um, 10 years of dirt. Um, paint's in really good shape. Uh, to, a lot of times white Toyota is faded and dull. Uh, this one is actually in really good shape, but as far as the interior goes, obviously that seat, the seat bottom, that seat bolster, those do need to, probably that whole bottom cushion needs to be restored, and maybe the back. And you can see how shiny the leather is. Uh, leather is dull when it's clean or matte, and when it's dirty, it gets shiny. Exterior paint is the opposite. It's shiny when it's clean and dull when it's dirty. That's uh, weird. But as far as dirt goes, I've seen worse, but it, this definitely has some old dirt in it. Um, so if you want to go the route of ceramic coating, um, yeah, we definitely can. It's a good candidate. We'll fix those seats another day. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, I see a pumpkin exploded in the back. <laughs> anyway, this bench is, uh, seat's pretty dirty. Um, it's easily cleaned. It just takes time because you have to scrub every kind of square inch there. Um, but this is just doing a quick inspection just kind of a cursory view. I will inspect the paint better when I get it back in the dry bay after I wash it, after I decon wash it. Uh, the good thing about this, it has real carpet in it. The, the newer cars today have like an, a black AstroTurf. Uh, so it, there's good and bad to uh, real carpet. It looks good, it's easy to vacuum. Once it gets stained and those stains have been there for a few years, they don't like to come out. We can get like the actual, you know, dirt out of it but the stain a lot of times is still there still visible it's just the downside of it's this carpet's not inherently stain resistant but it is much easier to vacuum than black astroturf so anyway open up the rear passenger side about the same level of dirt um i would suggest changing floor if you want to really enjoy this vehicle uh we sell leather diamond stitch leather premium durable floor mats and they are amazing i have them in my uh, mazda cx9 easy to clean they replace the carpet but become the new carpet anyway that's another story so this um we'll show this seat here in a second the probably the bottom cushion part um should be restored this this bolster right here which is you know the first point of entry it's the first place you touch last place you touch when you get in get out and we can just do sections. We don't have to do the whole seat. We usually do the worst. And then, like I said, we will re-clear coat. I'll add clear coat to them, and then uh, we'll, we'll ceramic coat them. There's not much point in ceramic coating worn-out leather. I just wanted to mention these headlights. I saw the, the top of it is faded there. Uh, it's a little bit faded in the front part of the lens, but not bad. Obviously, this will continue. The headlights probably, they do need to be re-clear coated. So as the clear coat breaks down, the UV coating from the factory kind of breaks down. It turns yellow. And when you sand it and polish it, we remove even more clear coat. Even if we ceramic coat these headlights, they can still fade because there's not enough clear coat. The, all the UV coating is gone and then there's there's just plastic lens. There's no clear coat over that plastic lens, which a lot of people don't know that, that there is clear coat over the plastic, but you can't really tell which is which. Uh, but when you see this, usually it's a good indication that the clear coat has failed. But anyway, that can be another time. Uh, I'll put that in the quote anyway. I will be in touch very soon. Thanks, Mike. Bye.